so we are doing the financial statements of limited company IAL we've already done the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income am i correct yes miss okay now we are going to do the statement of financial position what do you understand by the statement of financial position miss it shows you the assets and your liabilities it shows you the position of your assets and liabilities on a particular date now yes. it has to go this way so there is no notes to account in this it is what is there in the question we write it okay so you start with assets assets is classified into two parts first is your non current assets and second is your current assets with me yes miss so assets are two Car non current assets and current assets in your non current asset the first category would be your intangible asset which is ideally only goodwill okay yeah then you have your property plant and equipment that is your other assets and they are always shown at carrying value what do you mean by the carrying value the present value after depreciation the value after depreciation okay yeah. and then you have your investments that is your money invested somewhere for more than a year so in assets you first have the non current assets and then you have the current assets in non current assets you will have your intangible assets your property plant and equipment these are your assets at carrying value and then the investments and then you write the total over here okay yes miss your current assets are classified into three categories one is your inventory one is your trade and other receivables trade receivables are your debtors and other receivables would be do you remember Mm, other receivables are uh, your profit from your shares, sir. Your prepaid expenses. Yes, prepaid expenses. Our standing income. Yes. Okay, and then you have your cash and cash equivalents. So this is very simple. Your non-current assets in the outer column, the total of the current assets in the outer column. So this will be your total assets. But yes. assets are expected to be with you in the business for less than a year. Yes, yes. Non current assets are more than a year. With me? Yes, miss. Can you repeat the current assets section for me? Okay, miss. Current assets are assets which have been with you, which are supposed to be with you for less than a year, and they consist of inventories, trade, and other receivables, trade receivables, and your other receivables such as your outstanding income and uh, debtors. Prepaid money. expenses. Prepaid expenses. Okay. Then you have your equity and liability section. Which section yeah. you have? Your equity, equity and liability section. your equity and liability section the first section we talk about is the equity this is like your owner's capital okay this section for this you prepare your statement of changes in equity also and you write your equity also over here equity is nothing but your capital or for a limited company you would say you would say that this is your shareholders funds what is it shareholders funds shareholders funds when i am talking about shareholders funds that means your shareholders funds is the money that is belonging to the shareholders this includes the share capital that means the capital that is shared by the owners share capital and it also includes reserves what is reserves do you know about it general reserve like a, a set of money kept aside to balance your uh, expenses listen every year the business earns some profits right yes 
the profits there is some part of the profit that the owner or the shareholders take away home what they take away with them is called the dividend hmm. and what they keep inside the business and they do not distribute it that is called reserves okay so this is the profit that is generated by the business but the owners have not taken it away are you with me what what mas this is the profit that is being generated by the business reserves yeah, yeah but I it's kept inside and not distributed reserves. it is the profit that is generated by the business but the owners have not taken it away yeah it is retained in the business so why not they just say retained uh, profits so it is retained earnings whatever so profits is there generated yeah. by the business not taken away is retained in the business comes under the heading retained earnings okay what about the reserve retained some... earnings one minute i'm i'm coming to it okay. let me explain it to you retained earnings are also called free reserves that means you can use it for anything that happens in the future in the future if you don't earn profits you can use it you can use your retained earnings in the future you can give dividend out of the retained earnings you can use retained earnings for anything for the shareholders because this is ultimately the money for the shareholders okay okay now this money is retained by the owners inside the business are you with me yes suppose if the owners decide that whatever we are earning say the retained earnings is 100000 they say this is too much and if we keep it available just like that there is a possibility that in future the shareholders who are not a part of it the management of the company they would demand this money back is it possible this depends on the contract they make right see shareholders are the owners of the company yes all the owners cannot work in the company yeah so there are some owners who become a part of the board of directors yes and some owners just sit and take dividend yes okay say you and me both are shareholders of the company okay and uh, i am the board of director and you are just sitting and taking dividends are you with me we both are owners but i manage the company and you are outside the company just taking away dividends okay so every year whatever profit i generate i put in the retained earnings i decide i will give uh, 30000 as dividend so dividend is removed from retained earnings and my balance in the retained earnings is 70000 are you with me bas okay <clears throat> this i have given i have distributed as dividend and my balance in the retained earnings is how much 70000 with me yes okay fine now what happens is this i am retaining in the business i am keeping i am accumulating this is the profit of year 1 i have retained i have retained profit of year 2 also 70000 and the total in my retained earnings is 140000 okay understand the logic and understand the concept of it okay so my balance in the retained earning is 140000 are you with me yes miss okay now what happens is that i think that when you will see a huge balance in the account you will create a ruckus in the annual general meeting and you would demand more dividend retained earnings are free reserves that is for the shareholders okay there is a possibility that when the shareholders see a lot of money in the retained earnings they would demand a huge amount of dividend and i don't want to pay this dividend i want to use this money for further establishment or for further expansion of my business yes 
Yes. So what do I do? I transfer money from retained earnings to another section. Say I will transfer 80,000 from the retained earnings to another section and this section is called the general reserves. That means I am reserving the money for some purpose which I don't know. I reserve the money for some specific purpose or for, for non-specific purpose which I don't know but I assure the shareholders that this money is going to be used for the betterment or for expansion of the business. So I transfer money from the retained earnings to the general reserves. Now understand the money in the general reserve also belongs to the shareholders. But I am telling the shareholders that your profits is going to be used for some purpose which is going to increase the value of the business. Are you with me? Yes. So general reserves is also profits kept in the business. But now I am going to use this money for a purpose which I don't know. That if you need to use it, if that you don't make a profit. But if the company winds up, this general reserves would also go to the shareholders. You get distributed among them. You can distribute this money to the shareholders. Are you with me? Yep. Understood this part? Yes. Okay. Now let's talk about revaluation reserves. Okay. Now tell me who are shareholders? Shareholders are people who own are the, the owners profits. of the company. Yes. That means whatever assets are there of the company belongs to the owners, right? Yes. Okay. Suppose, say for example, I have purchased a land whose value is 1 million. I purchased this long ago. Hmm. But today, the value of this land is 80 million. Yeah. So, Difference, okay? Land always appreciates, it never depreciates. You know that, right? Yes. So the value of the land has increased and there is a huge difference. So I decide to show my balance sheet at the current value. Yeah. So my non-current assets is revalued and the value of my non-current assets is going up. Has gone up by 79 million. So this is a profit on revaluation? Yes. This profit would belong to whom? That I don't know. Uh, the shareholders. The owners. All the profits always belongs to the owners. Yeah. So whenever I revalue my non-current assets at the current carrying value, or the current carrying value is more and the previous value was less. So I revalue my non-current assets. The value of the non-current asset goes up. And this money that I have or this profit that I have it goes into a reserve which is called a revaluation reserve. Okay. Now you would say, why don't the shareholders take away this money then? Now understand, to take this money away, you need to sell the asset. Yeah. To take this money away, you need to sell the asset. Yes. But I am not selling the asset. The asset is still lying with the business. But due to revaluation of this non-current asset, there is some profit that is generated which belongs to the shareholders and it goes into a reserve which is a revaluation reserve. With me? I think... Understand, I have a land which was for how much? 1 million. Yeah. Now it is 80 million. The value yes. of this land is 80 million. It has appreciated by 79 million. You would say, Miss, uh, distribute this among the shareholders. Can You can say that, right? Yeah. But am I selling the land? No, you're not. You're keeping it. I am not selling the land. I am not selling the land. The land is still with me. 
but profit is generated profit is generated by the asset profit is generated by the asset and this profit belongs to the shareholders so it will go under the heading revaluation reserve there is no cash coming in but profit is okay there. but profit is going out but profit is there it's not going out it's coming in okay 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 in yeah. future if any non current asset depreciates or the value goes down than the current value then i would adjust from this reserves which is called the revaluation reserves this is okay. not a pre reserves understand my pre reserve is only retained earnings hmm okay just make a note of it i will pause the meeting now you understood right revaluation reserves yeah okay now we talk about share premium now this share premium concept you need to understand very well okay, okay. who are shareholders people who own part of the business they are the owners of the business yeah. when i say they have share capital that means every person has put in some capital and it has become the share capital which is shared by a number of people the capital is shared by people are you with me yes okay fine the capital is shared by the people now i say i have sold a shares new shares when i say i have sold a new shares that means i have done a fresh issue you are on mute okay i, I want to do fresh issue of shares now understand the face value of the share is 10 pounds when i say face value that means say for example if this is my share certificate the value that is written on the label on the label okay so miss royalty no it's not royalty the value that is written on the share certificate is called the face value Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, which is written on the certificate is what the face value. Face value. Face value is the actual value of the shares in, but not in the market. This is the actual value of shares by which the capital can increase or decrease. The company said by the company. Okay, yeah, okay. the one that is on the face of it, on the face of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. but i know my company is very good i know my company is very reputed my company has a lot of wealth my dividend is very good so i do not sell my shares at 10 pounds i sell it at 1000 pounds or i sell it at 100 pounds are you with me yes the face value of the share is 10 only Yeah, but you sell it for more. But I sell it for hundred. That Isn't means that I'm selling it for a premium price. Yeah. Yeah. I am selling it for the premium price, and the premium amount is ninety pounds. With me. Ninety pounds more. Ninety pounds more. Say if you go to uh, Disneyland or you go to Disney World, there if you go and buy water, you will get water at ten uh, dirhams or twelve dirhams. Or, or over here, if you go, what is that? Ferrari World. Five to ten dirhams. Yeah. Will be for ten dirhams, but if you buy the same water below your house, it will be for one dirham. Yeah. They share. They sell it for a premium price. Okay. But isn't that illegal? Sorry. But isn't that illegal, miss? Sorry. Isn't it illegal, miss? No, you buy shawarma from down for five dirhams. If yeah. If you buy shawarma in Parari World, it will be for fifty dirhams. Why is it illegal? Miss, but if it's written on the certificate, it's this price. You cannot charge more than that, right? No, you are charging a premium price because you've made your company that good. Okay. 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 So this is called share premium. What is it called? Share premium. Share premium. 
ओके दिस शेयर प्रीमियम इज बेसिकली योर प्रॉफिट या एनी प्रॉफिट दैट द कंपनी अर्न्स विल बिलोंग टू हू द शेयर होल्डर्स द शेयर होल्डर्स ओके नो अंडरस्टैंड शेयर फेस वैल्यू वाज हाउ मच नाइ फॉरगॉट 10 This value is ten. You sold it for how much? Ninety. Hundred. Hundred. What was your premium? Ninety. Ninety. Face value is always the capital. Understand that. Hmm. Now this share premium is the profit that you have earned. The company has earned by selling the shares at an extra price. This profit belongs to whom? It belongs to the shareholders. But you cannot yeah. use it freely. You can use this money to return it to the shareholders, not in the form of dividend, but by giving them bonus shares in the future, or by uh, other things. Okay. Mm. So share premium is again a. profit that belongs to the shareholders but it cannot be used freely it can be used for some specific purpose only to return it back to the shareholders hmm this money has to go back to the shareholders either in the form of bonus shares or right issue or anything else or maybe in future you sell your shares at discount so to write off the discount you cannot use it freely Okay. you cannot use it as a profit you everything is profit only but you cannot treat it like that right? you can treat it on it is profit it has to be treated as profits but it cannot be used freely yeah anything that you can use freely for anything that you want is only retained on you the rest okay. all becomes it is we divert it for specific purpose so share premium is not a free reserve it is not a free profit you can use it for specific purpose so general and uh, revaluation is uh, free sorry nothing is free the revaluation reserves can be used only for revaluation of your non current asset if you hmm. have non current assets going upwards you add it to revaluation reserve If you have non-current assets going downwards, you remove it from revaluation. Remove it. Yeah. You want okay. to do expansion, and you don't know, but you want to do something for the business, then you use it from the general reserves. If you Got want it. to give some benefit to the shareholders, then you will use share premium, like bonus issue, right issue. Okay. If you want to give dividend. then you will use retained earnings if you want to transfer money for some other purpose then you will remove it from retained earnings because the only free reserve is retained earnings rest all is used for some specific purpose i am explaining you the meaning so that you understand the logic but for you to know is that this all is shareholders funds equity shareholders funds is the share capital and the reserves are you with me yes so the owners equity or the shareholders funds is what this entire thing what is this entire thing share capital correct share capital and the reserves these reserves are with different different names Retained earnings, share premium, revaluation reserve, general reserves. These are the only things you need to learn. Are you with me? Yes. Any movement in this shareholders funds happens in a statement which is called the statement of changes in equity. That I will teach you in the later part. But okay. in your balance sheet, you need to show in your equity section these two things. One is the share capital, and one is the reserves. this becomes your total equity or your total shareholders funds with me yes now share capital are of two types one is ordinary share capital and one is preference share capital 
There are two different types of shareholders. One is ordinary shareholders and one is preference shareholders. I hope you know the difference between the two. Ordinary shares are normal shares that are sold at a normal price, right? And then the preference shares are the ones Not given to the... Not necessarily that ordinary shares are sold at a normal price. The only difference between these two shares is that these shares, preference shares, will receive dividend even if there is no profit. And they will receive yeah. a fixed rate of dividend. Extra dividend will not be given to them. Okay. Ordinary shareholders will receive dividend only when profits are there. With me? Ah, okay, okay, got it. So your equity and liability section has something which is equity. Non-current liabilities and current, current liabilities. Non-current liabilities are your loans. You take from bank, you take from public long-term loans. Your long-term more than one year. From public is called debentures. Loan okay. taken from public is called debentures and loan taken from bank is called bank loan. Bank loan. Then you have your current liabilities. Your current liabilities will have your trade payables and other payables. Do you know what comes in other payables? Miss, uh, people you owe, so your uh, credit expenses? Outstanding expenses. Yeah, outstanding expenses. And, and uh, pre received income. Income received in advance. Yes. Okay, then you also have your short term loans, your short term borrowings, your tax that is payable, and your provisions. Okay, Got so it. this is your equity and liability. Total will be in the outer column, and non current liabilities and current liabilities will come in the first column. Total year. And all the liabilities. That means when I say equity and liabilities, equity and liabilities total only I want in the third column. This is equity. Yeah. And this is liability. Yes. So Long for the limited one. Will be added together. And put out together. Yeah. So the equity is the only addition for the limited companies of balance sheet. This is the only addition and this corporate tax payable. Okay. Okay. So I want you to recall the format of the okay. statement of financial position. There's a place that is given down and I want you to write it, memorize it. I will wait for you. Let's do this worked example one, which is on page 13 of your textbook. Before you go to anything, you need to mark. Okay. You have asked to prepare a statement of financial position. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. And statement of financial position for Dahlia PLC, that means you will have your assets, non-current assets, current assets, equity and liability, non-current liabilities and current liability. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. I'll take you over here. Come on. 4% bank loan. Uh, Non-current liability. Okay. 4% bank loan, non-current liabilities. Okay. Yeah. There is an error in the textbook. They have written 4.5. Okay. Okay. No, Mrs. 4.5 or 400 pounds is outstanding. This is 4% bank loan. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, fine. Non current liability. Bank. Bank is the cash, yeah. I mean, so it will come in the current assets, the cash and cash equivalent. Yeah. Building. Building is a non current asset. But it will come where? What will you write? Non current asset. In your non current asset. You will have first your intangible asset and second would be your property, plant and equipment. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Any other non-current asset will come in the PPE. Mm. So, what so you don't write building, miss? You write property, plant and equipment? Yes. 
you will okay. write the property plant and equipment and if anything extra is there you will show it in your working note okay okay so this is the carrying value so i have nothing to do it will come in the ppe now if you look over here your property plant and equipment you have building and it's the same amount we will write it ahead but first we will mark so that we Wait, know must, uh, it's written 329 but it's 300000 plus so 9 there will be something else also there will be other non current assets oh okay okay yeah yeah okay Yeah. Cash. Cash is current asset for cash and cash uh, equivalents. Cash and cash equivalent. So when you write uh, cash, you will do five thousand five hundred plus two thousand five hundred hmm. in your cash and cash equivalent. So if you see yeah. over here, this is bank and this is cash. Got it. Okay, and there yeah. is a working note for it. So whatever you write in the working note, you will write over here. Okay. Understood. That is why doing the marking is a must. With me. Yes. General reserves. Which section? General reserve. Okay, that goes into equity. Goodwill. Ah, uh, current asset. Ah, uh, non-current assets. प्रॉपर्टी प्लांट एंड इक्विपमेंट यू विल हैव टू सब्रैक्ट दिएशन सो आई एम राइटिंग बिकॉज your non current assets will be shown in your statement of financial position at the carrying value yeah okay ordinary shares dollar 0.75 equity equity now see there is a mistake in the textbook okay yeah it will not be that this is a mistake in the question oh, okay Not normal zero point seven five, so it will be dollar one. Other payables. Uh, current liabilities. Current liabilities. You should remember that in your current liabilities, your first heading would be trade payables and other payables. And under that, you will have under to. Under that, you will have one category as trade payables and one category as other payables. Got it. So, Other payables. So But if what if there's no trade payable? Then one other payable. Then you will make a working note. Okay, and you just add the total of other payables together. Yeah, you just write the total of other payables. Sure. Accumulated depreciation motor vehicle. That goes to non-current asset. That will go into non-current asset motor vehicle. Yeah. So the carrying value of motor vehicle will be how much? Ah, uh, motor vehicle, eighteen thousand, thirty thousand subtract twenty like ten. Ten thousand. So this will go in PPE. Are you with yes. me? Now, yes. if you check your PPE, your building was three hundred thousand, and motor vehicle at carrying value they're showing nine thousand. That means that some other adjustment would be there. Miss, motor vehicles are to be depreciated by ten percent per year using That's the reducing right. balance. Yeah. So that means I to... am not gum down. I am going line wise. Okay, okay, sorry. Still stick to the format that I am following so that I don't make mistakes. Yeah. Marking is essential. Yes. Provisions. Uh, non-current assets. Ah, uh, liabilities. Provisions. You see. Non-current liabilities. Current liabilities. Short term uh, borrowing yeah. and provision comes under current liabilities. Please see over there. Yes, yes. Current liabilities, okay? Yeah. Retained earnings. Equity. Equity, very good. Revaluation reserves. Equity. Trade receivables. Current assets. Trade payables. Current liabilities. Current liability. 
bank loan interest 400 pound is outstanding that means so there the is an outstanding expense current liabilities under what heading other payables other payables so you have other payable you yeah have this other payable one and you have other payable two are you with me yeah so your total other payables is if you see over here properly this is eight thousand five hundred and four hundred eight thousand nine hundred wait wait what if you see your other payables properly Yeah, eight thousand five hundred plus four hundred. Yep. But whenever you are adding something, you will not show it in a bracket in your uh, this as so well. Should be in the notes. Should be the working note. Got it. With me? Yes. Now, motor vehicles are to be depreciated at ten percent using reducing balance method. Now, if you see motor vehicle at cost was how much? Thirty thousand. The old provision was how much? Accumulated depreciation was how much? Twenty thousand. So you subtract that becomes ten thousand. So the and reduced value is ten thousand. Current year depreciation. And ten percent. So minus one thousand, it becomes nine thousand. Nine thousand. So you are carrying value for motor vehicles. For motor vehicle is how much? Uh, nine thousand. Nine thousand. And motor vehicle goes under which heading? Uh, property, plant, and equipment. So if you see for building, they gave you carrying value directly. Yeah. For motor vehicles, you had to calculate. Yeah. Your property, plant, and equipment becomes three twenty nine thousand. Including goodwill. No, goodwill is intangible asset. It is shown separately. No, miss. Total, total uh, non-current assets. Yeah, total non-current assets. Okay, this is three hundred and nine thousand PP. Yeah. Depreciation of motor vehicle thirty thousand is the cost minus the accumulated depreciation ten percent. This is current year's depreciation. So total accumulated depreciation is twenty one thousand. So the carrying value of motor vehicle is nine thousand. With me? Yes. So this is done. Yeah. Replace. Corporation tax of twenty twenty thousand five hundred has been calculated. It is due to be paid on thirty first May twenty twenty. The corporate tax payable. Where does this come? Miss uh, current uh, liabilities. The corporate tax payable comes under current liabilities. But miss, it's due to be paid on thirty first, right? On uh, next year. Thirty first May twenty twenty. Yeah. Your year. This is your statement of financial position for thirtieth November twenty nineteen. So you should not add it, right? So anything that is to be paid after thirtieth November twenty twenty would become your non-current liability. Yes. So this is payable within a year. Yeah, under twelve months. Yeah, so it is current liability. It's current liability. So you will prepare your statement of financial position. I will wait for you. You can okay. use the reference. You can use this, but try to do it yourself. With the help of markings. Okay. Of course. Are you with yeah. me? Come on. Yes. Now this you will not take item by item. You will do heading by heading. That yes. means you will prepare and you will hunt. Once done, you strike it off. Okay. You will use the format. This format you know, right? Yeah, miss. So you will see goodwill. Goodwill there, yes. Strike off. Hmm. Then you will write PPE. So how many PPE you have? You will Two. count. You have hmm. one PPE. You have the second PPE. Two. Any other PPE you can see? You cannot see. So there is two PPE. That means you will go to the working note for the PPE. 
finish the property plant and equipment do the total then go to the current assets so whatever is done you strike off yeah so that you don't miss anything are you with me yes miss come on try doing it i'll wait for you okay the activity 6 i want you to write do the markings yourself okay they ask you to prepare two things one is the statement of profit or loss and another comprehensive income and other is the statement of financial position okay so yeah. do the markings then i will discuss the sum with you and then we can proceed okay, okay. activity 6 where you are asked to prepare statement of profit or loss and can you please say omas and statement of financial position are you with me yes so the statement of profit or loss we ideally prepare working notes for the cost of sales yes okay we prepare working note for distribution costs administrative if it is more than one yeah yeah and financial and finance cost okay so i have the administrative expenses what i have the administrative expenses are you with me i'm with you miss hmm we have administrative expenses that will go under the heading of administration cost right yeah cash and cash equivalent that goes into the current assets for the statement of financial position okay current asset sofd distribution expenses uh distribution notes and it will go into the expenses okay distribution costs opening inventory on the first date Miss, that will go into your cost of sales. Shares. The notes as well. You have to calculate it with the closing inventory. Yeah, the cost of sales will always have a note. Yeah, that's what miss. So this inventory will go into that, right? Yeah, the notes. Yeah, the notes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Then you have your plant and equipment. that goes into your non current asset and uh, it's depreciated so it will be the value will be 225 the carrying value yes property plant and equipment yeah, is it that or no i don't know i have to see now what is ahead okay okay so plant and equipment is 225 for this right yeah other payables other payables 20 that goes into your current liabilities then property property again will go into your pp uh, non current assets non current assets okay yep. then purchases will go into your cost of sales but miss it's, it's considered a purchase of raw materials right hmm So how do we know if it's like raw materials or not? Nothing. If the finished goods is not maintained, then call raw material. Okay. Retained earnings. That goes into your equity of your balance sheet. Revenue. Revenue goes into your uh, statement of profit or loss. Share premium. What? Supplement. Oh, share, share premium equity. Paid payables. Trade payables, current liabilities, trade receivables, current assets. Okay. Closing inventory. Yes, that goes into your uh, cost of sales. Okay. Depreciation of plant. Yeah. So the value for that is fifty uh, percent goes for your uh, cost of sales. 
Yeah. Which is uh, two two five. One minute, wait. First, depreciation of plant and equipment at twenty percent on straight line method. So, plant and equipment is four fifty. The depreciation is twenty percent. Yeah. That is ninety. Oh, I did ultra calculation. The depreciation is four fifty. Four fifty times twenty percent. Yeah. Okay. And it is yeah. a portion between the cost of sales. 50%. Hmm. So 45 is for your cost of sales. Distribution. 40%. 40% is 36. 90 into 40%. 36 will go to the distribution. Yeah. 36 and will then, go to the distribution. And then 9 for your admin. The administration will go 9. Yeah. This is the remaining nine for your administration, and forty five will go for this. So in yes. your PE, you will have two twenty five minus ninety, right? For plant. What? Minus ninety. Yeah. Miss, wait. So two to five is uh, wait. Two to five is one minute. Wait. No, miss. Uh, two to five completely ditched, miss. Completely ditched. Two to five. equipment. Yeah. Four fifty is the cost minus three twenty minus ninety. Your carrying value will become how much? Four fifty minus three twenty minus ninety. Your carrying value is forty now. Yeah. Yeah, and for yeah. property, your carrying value is four twenty. Four twenty. Nothing changes. So property, plant, then this is given at carrying value, right? For now. How oh, much? For now, this is given at carrying value. I don't have any other information. Yeah, for property, nothing. It's just like carrying value, for 420. Property, plant, and equipment would be 460. Yeah. Property, plant, and equipment, the non-current asset, property, plant, and equipment, 460. This becomes my working note. Yeah. Yes. Okay, fine. What is other information? This uh, depreciation of uh, everything we've adjusted in the working note, working note and working note. Cost of sales in the cost of sales, distribution in the distribution and administration in the administration. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, fine. Now read the next adjustment. Next adjustment is that corporation tax has been estimated 20,000. So this will go into your uh, balance sheet, uh, current liabilities. Corporate tax okay. payable. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, every other thing remains the same. Can you give me the format of the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income? It will be revenue minus cost of sales gross profit. Minus the distribution cost, which becomes the working note. Minus the administration cost, which again becomes the working note. You will minus these expenses. You get profit on ordinary activities before tax. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Minus the corporation tax. Wait, corporation tax will also go for your uh, profit or loss? Yes, because it is an expense as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get the profit before uh, interest and tax. Yeah, yeah. Then you get profit on ordinary activities after tax. Yes. Okay. Do the sum I'm waiting for you. Okay. 